In this video, we're going to take a look at how to bake lighting into textures using Octane for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Space Pilot O2.mac. So let's zoom out a little bit here. So I'm going to set up the baking of the lighting into the textures first by setting up the objects themselves. So if we take a look at the UV editor here, uh, if I select these objects, you can see that most of the body here, the, the pilot object, boots, hands, and pants are all within the same UV space. So I'm gonna give them the same baking group ID number so we can bake all of these into a single texture. So I'm gonna select each one of these and go to the attribute editor and in the octane rollout, I wanna find the baking group ID. So that's this field right here. I'll set it to 10, which is just an arbitrary number I'd like to use factors of 10 when possible because they're easy to remember, but that's just my own system. So we'll do this at 10, boots, baking group ID 10. I'm gonna leave the head and the eye alone, and then we'll go to the node called Alien Pilot 7, which is actually the torso here, and let's set that to 10 as well. And then I'm gonna set the head, the baking group ID, to 20, and same with the eyes. The eyes will be 20 as well. Now I'm going to create a new camera. This will be our baking camera. Let's call it baking camera. And let's go to the render settings window. And in the common tab, I'm gonna set the size of the image to, let's do 1024 by 1024, so a square image. So obviously if you're gonna do higher res images, you would wanna have maybe like 2048 by 2048 or 4096 by 4096 or whatever. But this is gonna be the size of your texture when you bake the lighting into the texture. This is what you're gonna be exporting from Maya. So I have that set up. Let's close this and then go to our new camera. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the viewport render to viewport 2.0 and go into render view and set the render to do a snapshot of baking camera. So I'm choosing baking camera. Ignore what you're seeing right here for the moment. Let's go into the baking camera ID settings and I'm gonna set the camera type for a baking camera to baking. That makes sense. And then set the, the baking group ID to 10. That matches the objects that make up the body, pants, hands, boots, and the alien pilot seven node. And so now uh, I will choose to render using Octane by clicking on the IPR button. And you can see here's the texture, but you can also see that the reflections and the light are being included in the render of the texture. So this is literally rendering the texture. And if I select transform one in the outliner, that's the daylight uh, sky node. I'll go down here to the daylight environment to the hour slider. And as I change the time of day, you can see the lighting updates in the texture. So you could set this up as part of a batch render or just simply just save the frame here from the render view if you choose to save image. Uh, you also notice that uh, render passes work just fine when rendering textures, which can also be helpful. So if I go into uh, rendering editors, render settings, and under octane, I have an octane passes node already. So let's go to its attributes. And under beauty passes, I'm just gonna turn on, uh, let's do diffuse, diff direct, diffuse indirect, diffuse direct, reflection direct, reflection indirect, and so on. Um, we'll just choose those four for the moment. As I switch the render pass, as I switch the preview pass to say diffuse direct, we see just the diffuse direct lighting, just the indirect lighting, just reflection, and reflection indirect. So you could output all of these different passes and then combine them into a baked texture. 
and then you would bring in the textures, reapply it to the surface, and then you could render it in real time, saving some uh, rendering uh, time. Or you could import it to a game or so on. But that's basically the idea behind baking textures in Octane for Maya.